Hey, Gina. Hey, Jeff. Where are we? We are on Notre Dame's campus. Notre Dame? Did you go to Notre Dame? No, but my cousin Danny did. Yeah. I didn't go to Notre Dame either, but it's beautiful here. Oh my gosh, it's and, gorgeous. You know, there's a church over there, and you can't see it. Through, oh, beautiful trees that we can see around. Anyway, we're here because we went to a meetup for Embassy RV in Elkhart, Indiana, which is really close by. So we thought we'd stop at Notre Dame and do this video telling about our journey so far and mm -hmm. how we are we have chosen to buy a, an RV made from a Ford Transit by Embassy RV. Mm -hmm. And it takes a while. Yeah, because it's hard for them to get the um, the chips right at this point in time of the pandemic. This is this June is of, of 2022. 2022. And, uh, one o'clock. Okay. Oh, cool. okay. <laughs> right. uh, so we are looking at uh, going through the process, mm -hmm. and we've made a deposit of two hundred and fifty dollars to get our names in line. And then coming up here, we're going to have to do a little commit and do the rest of up to forty five hundred dollars. And that's uh, given directly to we give it to Embassy, but Embassy RV, but they give it to Ford to build a Ford Transit for us in twenty twenty three. And then after that, they get the they get the van, and, and then they turn it into said, turn right. it into an. So RV. the other two will have two other payments after after they get the van. Then they'll ask us for half of the the remaining so that they can start doing you know buying the materials to put the van together. And then when the van is done, we'll have to pay the last half of that mm -hmm. remaining. So yeah, so it is a process. So it we is still a process. have and it takes and it takes over a year. So we met a lot At of people. At this point in time it does. Yeah. Maybe At this in the point past time. it was faster, but, right. but with the pandemic and, maybe in and the shortage. Twenty twenty five you just uh -huh. you know, you wait a month and it comes in. I don't know. I don't know but now that, but... uh it's a long process. It's hard for people to buy brand new cars too, and the same thing with, with vans and RVs. Right, right. So it'll be it'll be a good solid year from now when we get it. But Embassy has a re good relationship with Ford, so they can they have the ability to get uh, the Ford Transit vans where some of the other makers may not be able to. So we're really happy about that. And, uh, we're really happy with uh, how Embassy RVs are made, the materials that they use, the quality. Because at this meetup, we finally got to go and see and touch and and interview owners of, of Embassy RVs to see how they like them. Mm -hmm. and, and how they hold up. Right. Especially when they, some of the people have been driving their embassy <coughs> RV for about a year and a half, and they love it. Mm -hmm. And all the components, uh, they don't break down. Yeah, one of the quotes uh, that I liked was where uh, the person said, now, if you, some other RVs, you drive them and you hear squeaks and rattles and shakes and all that kind of stuff. But if... <coughs> If you hear any shaking around when you're driving an embassy RV, it's because the stuff you packed yeah, and, and your, your plates yeah. or whatever it might be. But all everything else is tight and, and nice and not rattly when you're trying to mm -hmm. drive. All the cabinets lock and have a special well, lock on They have a, a positive latching so that they don't. You turn a corner and the door doesn't fly open and everything flies out. Which but happens all sometimes of, in RVs. In RV. some RVs, yeah. they don't have that, and and you have to worry about turning a corner which is kind of crazy but embassy you do not have to worry about that so yesterday morning while Jeff was uh, getting ready I was praying and I was asking God wait why were you praying <laughs> why was I praying yeah. I was praying because number one to make this commitment to get an RV it's very very expensive so for Jeff and uh -huh. I we're not independently wealthy uh, we were school teachers and I did stay-at-home mom thing so we don't have I'm a school a, administrator yeah mm -hmm. we don't have a, a ton a ton of money so this will for retirement this this is pretty much the chunk would and be. you know what we wanted to make sure if we're gonna do something like this we want to make sure we get good quality so that we don't have to worry about losing the value of what we just bought and we've heard stories from people who've bought you know, class A's and class B pluses and different different kinds of, of vehicles and they were not made in a quality kind of manner and we wanted to make sure that what we buy is um, so anyway I was praying about it and asking God is this is this um, is this what our destiny is supposed to be is this what our purpose is supposed to be in this next stage of life how can we help others while being on the road versus just buying another vacation vehicle. Right, but we kind of also wanted to travel the country and helping others feed their mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. I think we have taken that as a calling 
Yeah. So I was praying and asking God that because, you know, we could use our money for something else right. to make a difference in the world. So right. uh, when I finished praying, we went to the meetup. The How people there. What'd you think? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. And we met so many wonderful people who own embassy uh -huh. RVs as well as people who are wannabes, you know, just like us, you know, looking around to see if this is what they'd want to do. And uh, I experienced three miracles in three, one three day. Three miracles yes. at this meetup. At this okay. meetup. Tell me about I mean, one of them. Three miracles. In this one little afternoon, I was able to find uh, some people that I was chatting with, and I wear a Freestyle Libre sensor because uh -huh. I have type 2 diabetes. There it is. And I ran into people who um, have type 2 diabetes or they have a to family their member. Blood sugar. Yes, and they haven't had their um, sugars managed yet, and they were um, not exactly sure what to do, and I was able to help them you know, in talking about it. And on my regular Anchor Moments YouTube channel, I do have a video of putting on this uh, Freestyle Libre sensor for the first time. And I get a thousand hits on that every month of people right before they apply theirs and they're scared. Yeah, and they'll comment scary. and ask me questions before they before they push the little plunger to make it, to insert it. Oh. And uh, oh. and I'll, I'll answer all their questions and- The applicator. Yeah, for the applicator. And so many of them are just so relieved and they're so thankful that they were able to watch that video. And so anyway, it was neat that while at the meetup, I was able to find other people that are diabetic who have been curious about these sensors but haven't you know, and used them yet. And they didn't know or... about the other features of that where mm -hmm. you, can, you can track your blood sugar as a little graph throughout the day. To oh, know yeah. what kinds of, to be able to so, figure out what are the things that spike oh, yeah. my blood sugar, you know? Exactly. So and all of that, and I was able to You were to able share. to share your expertise mm -hmm. and your and, experience with and that? And how to bring your blood sugar down. Uh -huh. And so I've been able, my blood sugar is almost normal now uh, because of different things that I've done with You're my diet normal? and exercise. Almost. I'm almost normal. And so I was able to share some of that too. And they were, they were very happy to get that information. And so that, that's been one thing that I've been wanting to be part of my journey to help others is to help other people who are diabetic because there's so many of us out there. Right. And so I was able to take care of that in one afternoon. So that was one. That was one. Okay. You got another one. The second one is, uh, I also had mentioned that we're going to have a second uh, YouTube channel right. and uh, on my first YouTube channel I have people who share the stories in their life that anchor their faith and I said on my second channel it's going to be all RV stuff but we'll talk to people on the road and we'll right. give them an opportunity to share their anchor moments and, and we'll that, be wait, able to tape them For people on who the don't road. know, what is an anchor moment? Anchor moments are those little miracles in your life that happen that anchor your faith. And most people don't share their, their those special times so in their life. And this is an opportunity to share those and their legacy moments. So once we, we turn it into a video, they can so share it with friends and family. So might be something that, like where you're feeling God's presence and you know that God is present with you and and letting you know that he loves and cares about you. You feel his presence. Exactly. I'll tell you, I mentioned that to one of the gentlemen who's diabetic uh -huh. and he was like, oh, I have stories of things that have happened to me and I'll tell him about tell them to you later. Well, a couple hours later, he was in the same van listening to the same lady show us around her mm -hmm. van and he said, "I think I'd like to share one of those stories now." And I said, "Sure." And he shared it to all, you know, all of us there. And then what happened? Oh my gosh. And then the lady in the van, she is uh -huh. uh, a nurse. Was a nurse um, practitioner. Nurse practitioner. Uh -huh. And she had some awesome stories, uh -huh. some awesome anchor moments. And she shared hers. And yeah, we were all really, there uh -huh. sharing you know what? our story. And it was I beautiful. We're, we made a connection there. So we'll be able to put those onto our channel coming mm -hmm. up here. Well, we can interview them through Zoom or or yeah. make a little show about about those yeah. miracle stories that they have. So yeah, so there was family. already two separate families okay. full of miracle stories that were just so beautiful. And, and what was the third right one? Right there. And then the third one, another piece that I want to do with the Anchor Moments RV channel is to cook on the road, cook healthy, and help people um, who want to cook healthy now, and people who might need it, who might have type 2 diabetes right. or or celiac or, or, you know, some kind of health needs. People have uh, videos about trying to cook on the road. Is it hard for people to cook on the road? Well, you know, yeah, it can be a little bit tricky. 
But right before we were going to leave, I was wearing a um, an Epicure t-shirt, uh-huh. and this one gentleman came up to me, and he's, and it was the first person. I didn't talk about Epicure at all. I was really there to just try Learn to about figure embassy out, RVs. Uh-huh. yeah, is this right. embassy RV going to be our thing, you know? Uh-huh. And uh, a gentleman came up, and he said, I know what that Epicure is, and it was mm-hmm. right when we were getting ready to leave. And I said, you yeah, do? Yeah, it's amazing that we... Because I and was saying, been Gina, there for hours. I'm tired. Let's go. I, yeah. I am exhausted. Yeah. And, we, and I was trying to grab her arm and say, let's get out of here. Man. I, Jeff's an introvert. I am an introvert. And so for an, for an entire day of, of chatting, chatting, chatting and stories, 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 he, he was done and he'd only had like four hours of sleep the night but before. Then, so he was exhausted. He was like, we got to go. We got to go. And as we're getting ready to leave. Frank and, came over. Yeah. And Frank said, came over and got Epicure. I know what that is. Yeah, and that, exactly. And, uh, and he said, my wife loves all your stuff and I'm like really and he said come meet her and so I got to meet Sharon and Sharon's RV she's only had it for 10 days Uh and it is packed to the gills with Epicure Uh she has the round steamer she has the multi-purpose steamer she's got two of the rectangle steamers Uh yes she has a cabinet that is full of Epicure meal solutions and she has a drawer that's full of the spice now, jars what's from funny Epicure. Is I mean, she has everything. We were interested in the Embassy RV. We were a little scared though, because we wanted to be able to cook on the road using the steamers that we have, the silicone steamers that are from Epicure to be able to do good food real fast. Mm-hmm. And on the road, yeah. We had never touched the, the microwave before to see how big is it? Because it has a little spinning plate inside of there. Oh, and, and it would is we be a able to little... put the steamer in it? Uh, you oh know, my would gosh, it fit? you guys, the microwave is tiny. It's tiny. And so when we were looking through, so as the day was going on, and I was so mad because we, we brought, brought one a from home, but we suitcase, did not bring it with from... us to the meetup. Ah, I was like, and we forgot oh, to put shoot, it in the car. How can we tell if it's if it's if the microwave is big enough to be able to fit yeah. the steamer in? And when there. we opened up the microwave and looked inside, Jeff's like, oh, there's, there's no, no way. way right. There's no way. He's like, none that's of your steamers so are going to fit in there except for maybe and, the omelet maker. And we had and somebody it. like try to measure it with like a a, a a tape measure, like to know what the dimensions are inside. I think, yeah, that doesn't really help me because I don't know don't, the measurements right, of my and, steamer, and, and I didn't have and it with me to measure. One of the steamers, the steamer that we brought was rectangular shape. So sometimes a rectangular shape, it might not spin around, might hit the side or something like that. Would it fit? We had no idea. But but Sharon had every steamer that uh, Epicure yeah. sells, including the omelet maker. She had, she had the all omelet of them. maker, the rectangle steamer, the round steamer. And Re- two rectangles and, two, and a multi-purpose <laughs> and the multi-purpose mm-hmm. square one yeah. and she put it in the microwave and, and she says look they all work fit. she she clicks spin you know turned it on it, it spin around just fine and now she wait. made pancakes just like she made pancakes that morning in her microwave using the omelet maker and she uh, made the pancakes were were half half circle shaped like that omelet but, ma- and it took two minutes in the microwave but what was big yes tell you want me to tell us yes part? you tell okay. what her what because Frank said. while Gina was talking to Sharon I was talking with Frank and he was telling me, you know, Epicure is what made this trip possible, made it possible for to get us to get an RV like this because uh, Sharon has to eat gluten-free. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you go to restaurants and sometimes they say, yeah, yeah, it's gluten-free, gluten-free. And it's not exactly, and it ends up oh, being yeah, a problem for when people. When you really can get sick from it, right. for people who get sick, if they have, I mean, They don't realize how important it is to be gluten. 100% yeah, accurate so on crumbs. gluten-free. Yeah. And you know what? Epicure is. They have a never ever list and they don't put any gluten in any of their mm-hmm. products. So you can do all your meals if you wanted to through through uh, Epicure meal solutions and never end up being a problem for gluten. Yeah and so she she absolutely uh, loves all of her Epicure products and uh, she said and when they stay in hotels she packs her okay. steamers and then she cooks in the hotel. She can cook in the microwave in any hotel, right. and uh, and she can cook on the road in, uh, in the embassy. And so it was just so exciting because there was only like maybe 12 vans there. there right. was, you know, uh, amazing. Like, and out of 12, how many people in the United yeah. States know about what Epicure is? Have bought all the stuff? Have bought all the steamers? Brought them with you to a place where there are 12 RVs or so? Uh, and be one of those. And 12? be one of those yeah. 12. And and that you would wear your shirt and that they would point it out and be able to say, hey, let's talk about it. And seriously, like it was like our last two minutes. Uh-huh. Jeff was like already trying to drag yeah, me away and I'm still trying to say goodbye to everybody. And he's like, no, 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 let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm tired, She's I wanna go, I wanna go. Yeah, I'm an extrovert, he's an introvert. And uh, and so Frank grabbed me just just seconds before, before we were ready to take off. So, and it Gina, was such a miracle to be able was. to see that and to know uh, and I really feel that was God telling me because he showed me all the ways that I've been wanting to make a difference 
uh, with my YouTube channel and now with my second YouTube channel because we'll do both. We'll still keep the first one, mm -hmm. but we're going to add the second one. So we'll do two channels and uh, all three ways to help people um, with telling the miracle stories that right. anchor their, their faith, spirit. to help people who are diabetic and to help um, to help people be able to cook healthy on the road. Right. All three I can do in that embassy RV and sitting in those RVs and chatting with all the people. It was so much fun and I felt so at home and nature all around us because we were in a beautiful green park yes. and just seeing not this uh, one, but like, this you know, one, very but pretty like and it. green. Yes. This is a very green part of the country, Gina. Yeah. And oh, and we got to meet Wanda and Terry that uh, work at Embassy RV and that, that are super important people at Embassy RV that make the magic happen with putting those uh, RVs together. It was just uh, pure so, joy, pure so, joy yesterday. And I have zero doubt, zero doubt that that is my destiny. Those are my three signs in one day and I just I can feel uh, Jesus smiling in my heart saying here you go kid so I've got a year to save up my money so anybody who buys Epicure thank you because you are buying the van to help us do these mission moments and then Jeff came up with a with another mission moment that he wants to do um, and we'll have a special playlist on on our new RV oh. thing too and tell a little bit about that because that's why we're at Notre Dame yeah oh well, one of the things I would like to do in traveling the country, I do want to see like all the national parks, mm -hmm. but I would like to also stop in at churches as we go. And I'm going to put a couple of pictures of the inside of the Notre Dame Basilica of St. Oh, Mary's. It's oh, unbelievably mm. beautiful and, you know, it's a very spiritual uh, place to be able to go and pray and touch base with God. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I was thinking that I'd like to do that as we travel the country to visit churches, maybe interview yeah. some of the pastors as we go and, yeah, and um, collect more anchor moment stories. Anchor moment too. stories yes. So and that'll be on our, that'll and be, be inspiring the people, too. inspiring to be healthy and mm -hmm. healthy in mind, body and spirit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Anyway, so anything else you want to say? Because my arm is, is Your arm is tired. It's tired yeah. holding this. So this is this already a long video, yeah, so okay. we'll let everybody go. But we'll be placing some more videos along the way, yes. uh, the journey, for other people too who might be interested in an embassy RV like that. And us. we'll show some yeah. pictures of the insides so that you'll be able to see what they look like mm -hmm. and see how quality made they are. And uh, maybe we'll also get some interviews with some of the owners by Zoom and be able to add them to the channel here too. So oh, you'll yeah. be able to see what is in, what do people like about the Embassy RV? Yeah. What do we like about, why are we considering it too? You know, all, put all those features, pros and cons in there too. Yeah, and we want to build community as well, just like on my video about putting on the Freestyle Libre. So if you have any questions, either and any questions about RV life, about uh, on managing, the road. Uh, type 2 diabetes or anything any questions about epicure or uh, and you know what when we talk anything, about being just, healthy and and, yeah. and uh, eating healthy she's down 40 pounds has kept mm -hmm. it off for a year so far and and still working at on on losing some more weight yeah and I'm down 50 pounds and eating I've kept it off now. for a year just mm -hmm. by eating healthy and anyway we'll tell about some of the the hacks and tricks and and uh, all that things that we, we have learned yeah. along the way yeah so all right Bye. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.